on answers also helps to include compensation for victims in 2021 budget hello everyone welcome to our channel we'd like you to please subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, like this post share with your friends uh, thank you for following us and god bless you wherever you are let's get back to this story so uh, nigeria's house of representatives on Tuesday, assured families of victims of police brutality, extortion, harassment, and extrajudicial killing of adequate compensation. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajabiamila, made the disclosure during the Tuesday's plenary session. Bajabiamila uh, announced that uh, adequate compensation will be made for families of those uh, who lost their lives uh, as a result of uh, police brutality in the budget. President Muhammadu Buhari on Thursday presented a record 13 million naira budget for 2021 to members of the National Assembly. The spending plan, according to Buhari, is about 21% rise from the revised 2020 spending plan of 10.8 trillion naira. While the budget has been submitted to the National Assembly, the legislators, the legislators are expected to make inputs in the country's uh, spending plan for 2021. The speaker reaffirms that the police uh, reforms will kickstart in NS, including uh, meetings with the Nigerian Bar Association and the Nigerian Human Rights Commission, NHRC, on getting justice for victims of police brutality. The House of Reps intervention is coming days after Nigerians, especially youth, continued protesting against uh, police personnel, particularly the defunct controversial Special Anti-Robbery Squad, SARS. Although the Inspector General of Police, uh, Mohamed Adamu, has announced that the controversial police unit has been dissolved, but uh, Nigerian youths want an end to cases of use of force and firearms on, on, firearms on them by police personnel. The protest, which is ongoing in major states of the country, has continued to record uh, similar cases of abuse and two confirmed deaths, one in Lagos and the other in Oyo State. Many of the protesters are seeking compensation for the lives lost and extortion by policemen compensated. Buhari on Monday said he has directed an investigation into the death of one of the protesters in Oyo State, Jimo Ishak who was uh, shot by police on Saturday. The president assured Nigerians that the dissolution of SARS was one of the steps the government was taking to reform the Nigerian police. So, uh, Speaker of the House of Reps, Baja Biamila has come out to say that there will be compensations for uh, those Nigerians that were you know, affected by uh, police brutality, that uh, the 2021 budget uh, will include compensations for people that have, you know, suffered the uh, loss of lives or property as a result of uh, police brutality. So since the uh, budget has been, you know, dropped at the House of Reps by President Buhari, he presented it uh, to the House of uh, Representatives uh, the other day. Was it Thursday last week or so? So uh, the lawmakers they are able to make uh, adjustments or amendments to the uh, budget that the president dropped and uh, include certain uh, spendings to, uh, you know, uh, uh, it could be, you know, parts of, uh, you know, uh, placating or helping families that have been affected by police brutality. So Baja Biamila, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, is saying there will be, you know, compensations for those affected by police brutality. Let's hope he keeps to his words. Let's hear your comments or thoughts on this in the comment section, please. And please follow us if you haven't done so already. Have a good day and God bless you.